All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Wednesday, April 17th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. How have you start us off? Doing my little happy dance, a little premature victory dance. Uh, hopefully, I don't come back Whoa. and jinx myself. Whoa. Uh, but uh, I'm currently watching the, the game, uh, the Lakers game on a side screen right here. Pelicans have not scored a field goal in almost five minutes. Lakers, they are up by 18 points, and they're just absolutely on a rolling. Goat James just drew a charge. That's all you need to know. Lakers, I gave them out on the money line. You know, they're just dominating. Brandon Ingram is the problem. I gave out the Kings, plus two and a half, going up against Go uh, Golden State Warriors. Game hasn't started yet. 80% uh, of the money is on the Warriors tonight. So I'm hoping a little sharp play here with the Kings, plus two and a half. Trez, go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, and I am uh, 0 That's because I gave out DeMontis Sabonis under 40 and a half PRAs in that Warriors game. Uh, I expect him to kind of see doubles of Draymond Green, a uh, little PTSD action. Yeah, CJ McCollum for myself. Over 3.5 made threes at minus 165. Over 4.5 made threes at plus 120. So whichever one he took, good luck to you in the second half here. I took both. I'm getting screwed in both. He needs the ball in his hand. He can't catch and shoot. He needs to have the ball in his hand. Brandon Ingram in the game is screwing everything up. So hopefully CJ catches fire. Uh, it's not going to matter for Trey. They're down by 20. So if CJ can make three quick threes, that'd be great uh, for everybody on this channel. All right, Trey, let's go to the place for tomorrow. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, there's no Lakers game on for today. So instead, I'm going to be attacking uh, this Miami Heat going up against Philadelphia 76ers game. And I think this is going to be a very entertaining game to watch. Both teams probably believe that they have a chance to make the NBA Finals. And it all starts with a win here. And I'm going to give out two picks in this game, a game pick and a total. Give me the Miami Heat. I'm going to take them at plus five and a half. And I'm also going to take uh, the over 207 and a half total points in this game. Historically, this game has been pretty contentious. Over the last 10 times these two teams have faced off, the average score has been 108 to 103 in the Heat's favor. So uh, it has been hitting this over, and the Heat have been actually winning more often than not. And I believe that we're going to see that type of Heat game uh, here in this one because both teams, they're going to be scoring points. I just have more confidence in this uh, Heat team to get the stops when needed. But I do believe that both teams can at least score 26 points per quarter to hit that 208 number that we need because this is the NBA guys I feel like this number is just disrespectful and whenever we look at Joel Embiid I just don't have too much confidence in him we cannot say that he is healthy at all he got hurt in the 76ers second to last game and then he did not play in the 76ers finale and whenever we look at the injury report he's actually listed as questionable but with the 76ers being favored and this being a massive playing game we obviously do expect Joel Embiid to play but I just have more confidence in this Heat team We've all seen what they can do in the playoffs, and we've seen what the 76ers team can do in the playoffs or what they can't do. And the NBA playoffs is known for the refs swallowing, uh, swallowing their whistle and calling it basically a street ball. And whenever we look at the 76ers, they make the most free throws per game in the NBA. That's not going to be attributed to them here in this one. The refs, they're not going to call no fouls. So give me the heat here. I'm going to take them plus 5.5. I'm also going to take the over 207.5 total points as well. Yeah, Trey, I do like to play there for you. Uh, the Heat, whenever the playoffs come, they just flip the switch. So I like to play there for you. Uh, for my play today, looking at the other game between the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls, I'm taking the Bulls in this game. Minus three to take care of business at home. The Bulls, they have all kinds of injury problems this season. They put together a pretty good lineup, and just like the Bulls do all the time, they fail year after year after year. Uh, year. They currently have seven players out in this game for the Hawks, some of them for an extended period of time like Lonzo Ball, Patrick Williams, Zach Levine, that's three good stars you'd love to have. Other players have been out a short period of time, like Andre Drummond and Trey. I'm going to try it here. Ayo Dusomu. Yeah. Dusomu. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good uh, pronunciation there. Uh, he's really made a name for himself. The point guard out of Illinois, he's fitting in well with the Chicago Bulls in his first three years. I'd love to see him back on the floor in this game. I just don't think it's going to happen. He's coming into this one questionable with a quad injury, but I still think the Bulls with the players they have on the floor can take care of the Hawks. Atlanta, they were one of the worst defenses the entire way through the regular season, giving up 120.5 points per game, third worst in the NBA. And while Chicago has struggled to score at times, they've always been decent on the defensive side. And I think that's what's going to win them this game, especially with the home court advantage. I'm a little bit worried about Trey Young being back on the floor with the Atlanta Hawks because he tends to have decent postseasons whenever he gets in. But he's been a non-factor in the last three games. I don't think I have much to worry about. He hasn't managed to score 20-plus points in any of those three games so far. In his last game, 32 minutes, scoring 12 points. If he doesn't perform well, if he doesn't score 25-plus points, I don't think the Hawks stand a chance here. So I'm going to take the Bulls uh, minus three here at home to get the job done as the play. Trey, let's go to the player props. Have you start us off. 
Yeah, guys. And even though I took the heat and even though I took the over, I'm going to be giving out Bam out of bio under 32 and a half PRAs against the 76ers. I actually really love this under for Bam here. We're going to see him try to dominate in the painted area in this game. But I believe we're going to see him struggle to do that for a few reasons. The first reason is because Bam, he's coming in this game with a lot of negative momentum. Over the last week of the NBA season, over his last five games, Bam, he only averaged 24.6 PRAs per game, which is way under this number. And I believe that that type of struggle is going to continue in this game because Bam, he kind of has nightmares of Joel Embiid in his dreams because over Bam's last five games versus Embiid, he's only averaging 12.6 points, eight rebounds, and 1.2 assists per game, which only comes out to 21.8 PRAs per game, which is way under this number. I believe that we're going to see the Heat kind of dominate on the perimeter in this game while Bam is just nowhere to be seen. Give me Bam Adebayo to go under 32.5 PRAs versus 76ers. Yeah, Trey, I like the play there for you. Uh, for my player prop, it's going to be the same game that I broke down. DeMar DeRozan over 29.5 points going up against the Hawks. DeMar DeRozan has flipped the switch because he's scoring at a much higher rate now at the back end of the season than he was throughout the entire year. He was only scoring 24 points per game all season long. He's got over 24 points in nine of the last 10 games. There's a reason his point total is this high, 29 and a half, and that's because he's gone over 30 points in four consecutive games, playing heavy, heavy minutes now as we get into the playoff run. His numbers are also getting a little bit of a bump because Dusomu has been out for a couple of games, but even whenever he's on the floor, he's still scored 27 plus points in four of the last five games when they play together. This is crunch time now, and DeMar DeRozan is going to have the ball in his hands a ton in this game. He's going up against one of the worst defensive teams in the NBA, and he has been shooting at a high volume, 20-plus shots in eight of the last nine games that he's played, making double-digit shots in eight of the last nine games as well. He's ready for the moment, scoring over 30 points in six of the last nine games. I'm not afraid of this high number. It's at 29.5 for a reason. Give me DeMar DeRozan over the total points as the play. Trey, let's go with the graphic. How do you start us off? Yeah, I don't want to be the bearer of my own bad news, but ever since I uh, jinxed myself, the Pelicans are on a run. Uh, but, hey, we got Go James on our side. Not worrying about that. I'll be 1-0 on my game pick by the time you guys are watching this. Uh, but my game pick for today, the Heat plus 5.5 versus 76ers and the over 207.5 total points. And if you parlay that with Bam out of bio under 32.5 PRAs versus 76ers, Bear has told me in the past that's going to boost the odds. Uh, really? Give me the over and the under on a player prop. Give me those great, great parlay odds. Yes, it will indeed boost your odds there. I'm going with the Bulls here, minus three against the Hawks. Uh, Hawks defense, really bad. If Trey Young doesn't drop 30, I don't think they stand a chance. And they give me DeMar DeRozan to drop 30-plus points on the Hawks' head, over 29.5 points as the play there. All right, guys, it's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Wednesday, April 17th, Slated Games. If you guys enjoy the content, please share, drop a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Super Bowl, we also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 